All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and today I'm in the house with the best tech two can here with me for a review. We're gonna analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this guy. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content right over here. So let's get started. Um, you guys are requesting me to get some. Uh, inexpensive knives and here you have it i've tried to do my best and uh, find some uh, some decent uh, knives uh, for the price in fact this guy is going to be around 40 60 dollar range so yeah it's it's an inexpensive one uh, overall length of this guy is going to be 8.5 inches with a 3.5 uh, uh, inch long cutting edge and an overall handle length of uh, I would say 4.8, 4.9 inches. Uh, but let's see how this guy is comparing, for example, up against uh, Ontario Rat number two and Ontario Rat number one. Look at that. A uh, little bit smaller than the Ontario Rat number one, but definitely smaller than the Benchmade. Benchmade Mini Bug Out and the Benchmade Bug Out that you can see right over here. Um, if you are a Spyderco fan, you might own a uh, Paga 3 right there. You can actually check right over here how a PM2 stands up against the Toucan and you can see that the, the length is pretty much the same. There is a little bit better handle to uh, blade ratio for the uh, best tech and uh, maybe you like uh, a little bit higher hand stuff and that's gonna be the case for Chris Reeve knives, uh, uh, small Sebenza and large Sebenza 21. This is 3.6 inches, but you see, better handle to blade ratio for the Sebenza. Uh, so it can pack a little bit more cutting edge. And uh, at this point, I used to show you two custom knife factory. This is the Snafu 2.0 designed by Peter Rassenti. And at this point, uh, you would see the custom knife factory 520. And in this case, you see the same thing, but it's in a custom form. So uh, there you have it for this size comparison. And uh, just another couple here because we have them. So we're going a little bit higher in price. Uh, Arius from Koenig Knives, that's the style 55. And this is Shirogorov Kami, uh, Sinkovich design, Kami flipper, fantastic one. Um, yeah, I think we are pretty good uh, for the size comparison. I just want to show you uh, up against a couple budget options. Uh, here we have uh, CVV Brazen and here we've got uh, CVV Ortis just to give you an idea of some other liner lock uh, in the cheaper um, range, let's say. So this is, uh, this is an interesting one. It's, um, it's an inexpensive uh, G10 stainless steel uh, liners, uh, liner lock, um, made by Bestec in China. Reasonably priced, I would say. The overall look, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, nothing like I'm gonna write home about, but um, it's uh, fine. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look gorgeous. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, I have to say it's well made. You have these G10 scales that uh, are being uh, have been contoured. You see, like there's these radial um, arcs kind of thing here and here, and here you have just like two chamfers uh, with straight lines. So it's creating like this 3D effect. Uh, which is gonna serve as a ergo purpose. And um, you have uh, steel liners, so you've got some chamfering going on around uh, the scale and um, a little bit going on also on the inside. On the inside also you can see maybe from this angle, maybe better like here, you can see some holes drilled and some squares cut out here to reduce the weight, which is, uh, yeah, they did a, a decent job. You've got, uh, a uh, anodized uh, blue uh, backspacer, which uh, uh, is uh, has an integrated lanyard hole, a little bit of jimping going on on this side, and it's protruding right here. And then it's going to be showing like a pretty well centered blade with a safe tip, um, easy, uh, nicely and safely recessed uh, inside the handle. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, you've got this. Uh, quite pointy flipper tab. I like that uh, the design is just flowing like a uh, little bit like into this uh, uh, area over here, jimped. 
not too aggressively you've got some chamfer going on on this side on this side and of course even here so it's nice it's not too pointy it's effective you can do a light switch pretty easy and the push button also works but it's a little bit pointy so it's not gonna be the best uh, you've got um, a non-spinning pivot which is also fantastic t6 and i think this is a t8 torx bit screw in uh, needed in order to take this guy down you can also check my uh, maintenance video if you're curious to see how this guy is uh, looking on the inside but it's going to be a pretty straightforward process to take this guy down um of course uh, this is steel on steel so there's no need for any uh, stainless steel lock face insert going on you've got uh, stainless steel uh, uh, detent ball there is no uh, detent ball ramp at this point um, you've got uh, stainless steel polished uh, pocket clip which is gonna be sticking out uh, when in the pocket you're gonna it's gonna show you like this much knife sticking out from your pocket uh, the spring tension is uh, it's decent it's quite strong uh, but this guy is not reversible it's gonna be only tip up carry on this side you can there's no way you can mount it on the other side um blade also it's uh it's interestingly uh, designed as an interesting uh, shape as you can see you've got a dual tone finish you have a stain um stone wash finished for the flats and for the spine and then you've got some nice jimping going on it's not too aggressive it's not like really functional it's kind of slippery um, but then you have some crowning going on up to this point where it ends and you have like a, a straight uh, edge with no chamfers or no uh, crowning and then you have this belly which is like probably 60 percent of the overall length of the blade and then a recurve uh, um, reaching the uh, sharpening choil right over here it's not i mean it can kind of be used as a finger choil because you have room but but um, yeah, it has a strange uh, shape. Usually it's like uh, circular, but in this case it's like more oval. But still, it can be used 100% as a finger choil as well. Uh, you've got uh, and some nice belt grind lines uh, going on in the primary bevel. You have the Bestec Knives logo here and the D2 um, engraved uh, here on the back to remind you that this is a, a tool steel. Um, you've got a nice chamfering going on over here. So, I mean, the blade design is... Um, yeah it's it's interesting uh, let's quickly check uh, how thick this guy is 0.146 inches as stock thickness and let's see here 0 0.018 so it's uh, it's nice it feels like uh, this could be a good slicer uh, the grind is not it's flat grind but it's almost full, full so it's um, it's nicely done um, from the sound department this guy as a very interesting opening sound, closing sound, is less interesting in my opinion. This is a nice sound. This is a meh sound. This is really good, actually, guys. It's like a deep. It's interesting. It's uh, percussive. It's not that loud. I mean, it's kind of loud. This is a mellow click. But this is a pretty cool and deep sound. Very, very nice. So let's quickly check the weight on this guy over here. It's not too crazy, but it's steel. So it's gonna show in the weight at 5.33 ounces. So it's not uh, a lightweight for sure, but it's, yeah, I mean, for the price, they're not using uh, um, carbon fiber or titanium and uh, it shows in the weight. It, being over five ounces so um also like from the feeling department when you squeeze the handle i mean personally i feel some hot spot from this area over here it just really hits directly into my finger so if i squeeze yeah this is not gonna feel the best and i feel a little bit of hot spot uh, created from the pocket clip right over here uh, the um yeah there are not many sharp edges you've got this one over here at the heel when you just push it down to flip it like this so it's gonna dig in a little bit in the flesh but nothing too crazy um the uh this guy has uh i would say maybe yeah i would prefer a little bit more room here to uh disengage the lock bar maybe some jimping going on because honestly it's not that accessible but still it's doable it's not impossible but uh yeah i would prefer i would have preferred something a little bit uh, uh wider here 
you can also do a nice choke up grip um, you can grip uh, like this like choking it up reverse and uh, you have a little bit of discomfort i would say for the thumb but overall it's gonna work uh, pretty well um, i have to say this guy feels pretty solid in the hand there's uh, not really much uh, yeah not much flex to it so it's um it's it's, it's solid i mean it's uh, it's not flimsy and I appreciate that. Uh, the texture going on on the handle is gonna give you a little bit of uh, some grippiness to your purchase here, so that's also fine. It's not super slippery. Fit and finish is also all right. I mean, I don't notice any misalignment. I mean, a little bit here. Maybe you can see the scale is a little bit protruding. This is uh, relatively flush and um, well put together. There's no rattling when shaken, and uh, I don't see any uh, issues. Like there's no blade play, no lock rock, no lock stick. It's uh, it's well done, guys. It's um it's a cheap one, uh, but it's well done. I mean, uh, this guy is running on bearings, deploys fast. Uh, the action is pretty smooth. Closing action. You see, you need a little of wiggle. Like as soon as you disengage the lock bar, this guy goes down. But vertical uh, vertically hold held it doesn't go down as a guillotine you just need to wiggle a little bit to have the blade closed so it's interesting it's um it's a gliding uh, i mean it's a controlled glide it's not uh, guillotine but um, it's nice i have to say detent strength is also nicely dialed in yeah and uh, i mean Overall, this is a pretty decent uh, budget knife, uh, which is looking uh, uh, good. Sounds all right when you open it, it's pretty cool. And the ergos are not perfect, but uh, they are in on the good path. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned.